Hey everybody, my name is Colby from Dishy Tech, and I've got some new information on that brand new Starlink router that I talked about in my last video. So in case you didn't watch it, in my last video I talked about how SpaceX just recently filed some FCC documents, and it talks about a brand new version of a Starlink router that's coming out pretty soon. We just had some basic uh, engineering drawings to look at and some basic specs, not a whole lot of information, but now we've got a first look or first images at what this new router is going to look like and actually some more information on what it is. So in my previous video I kind of speculated a little bit on what this could be for and it turns out I was completely wrong on all, all fronts there. Uh, so I had said maybe this will be like the new Gen 4 router for a new Starlink kit. Also said maybe it could be a refresh of the Gen 3 router, maybe a you know a cheaper version that they that costs them less to manufacture, something like that. But those were, were both wrong. Uh, what it really is, is a brand new router that's joining the Starlink router family. It's gonna be sold alongside the Gen 3 router as an additional mesh node or maybe a main router for any Starlink system. And it's gonna be actually called the Starlink Mini Router. So let's get right into it and just take a look, get our first look at it. And it comes via a Starlink app update. So I noticed this last night, and this actually gives us our first look at what the real life product is gonna look like. It is a, a rendering in the app, not a real photo, but it gives us a lot more information than what I had in the previous video. So actually, if you look on your Starlink app, there is a development menu. It's kind of like a demo mode of sorts. You can get to it by tapping on the Starlink logo a few times and it pops you into this developer mode. Now you can scroll down and the interesting update from the most recent version uh, was this menu that says, uh, connected V4 mini mesh. So if you click on that, we now get our first image of what the Starlink mini router is gonna look like. So they have it in this app demo mode, they have it paired uh, wired, a wired connection to the mini dish itself. And if you kind of tap on it and it'll zoom in a little bit, you can see a lot more information about what it's gonna look like. So the one thing it looks like I did get right was that there is gonna be kind of a detachable stand that kind of uh, connects to the bottom of the router, kind of slides in there, allows you to mount this in multiple ways. And it does appear to be very slim, very thin, and an upright uh, design like I had talked about in the previous video. Now another thing we can do in the Starlink app, if we go to support and go to the legal button there at the bottom, we can see uh, the regulatory labels of the equipment that's shown, being shown on this demo screen in the development mode of the Starlink app. So you see the Starlink dish in parentheses mini, that's the mini dish. Then you see below that Starlink router mini, that's the integrated router built into the Starlink mini. The mesh node that's connected in this system is at the very bottom there. It's labeled the same Starlink router parentheses mini. If you click on that, that's where we can see the, uh, the regulatory label that I showed you in the last video, the model number UTR-251. And this is how we know that that's the same router. So. We also know that this is gonna be called the Starlink Mini Router based on the name that we have in here. Okay, so we know we have a Starlink Mini Router coming out soon. Now let's talk about all the ways that you could use this and maybe a little bit, speculate a little bit about the pricing details too. And that, let's actually start off with the price because this will be, I think, the most interesting part for me because right now the Starlink Gen 3 Router, which is the router that's included in the standard kit, but it's also sold as a standalone unit for maybe an additional mesh node for your any of your Starlink systems, that one costs $120 right now in the Starlink shop. It's been recently reduced down from $199. And basically what that means is that this new Starlink mini router, it has to cost less than that. I mean, it doesn't make any sense for it to be more expensive because you can use the Starlink Gen 3 router with the mini as a wired or wireless mesh node. And that also applies to the Gen 3 standard system as well. You can use it as a wired or wireless mesh node. So this mini router that we're seeing, it doesn't actually have better specs than the Gen 3 router. I don't think it's gonna be a better Wi-Fi router. I really think it's just meant to be a smaller, uh, more cut down and cheaper version of what we have with the Gen 3 router. And I think this is Starlink addressing one of the mini's main problems, which is the weak integrated Wi-Fi router. Now for portability, it's great. I mean, you have this integrated unit, all you have to do is plug in one power cord and you have a complete system all in one. But for those of you that are using the mini, maybe it's home backup or as a residential home internet service, 
it's not ideal to have the router integrated in the dish, which is maybe sitting on top of your roof. So this solves that problem. You can run an ethernet cable alongside the Mini's DC power cable. Going back to this new Starlink mesh router that's installed indoors, and that can act either as a wired mesh node, a wireless mesh node, or even a, your main Starlink Mini router if you turn on bypass mode, turning off the integrated router in the Mini. And even if you don't have a Starlink Mini, you still might be interested in this Mini router because like I mentioned before, you can add this to your current Gen 3 standard system as a wired or wireless mesh node. And since I expect it to come in cheaper, maybe in the $80 to $100 range, it's definitely gonna be a more value-oriented option for expanding your Wi-Fi coverage of your existing Starlink system. So as far as timeline and availability, the fact that this is now in the Starlink app, in the production version of the Starlink app, means that they're very, very close to a launch of this mini router. And I expect we'll get a lot more information. A lot of things will happen over the next few weeks. One of the big questions for me is how do they do the product rollout with this new mini router? So with the Gen 3 router, they chose to slowly kind of roll it out. They first started with a small group of invite only customers kind of test it out, try it out. They got early access to it. And then they slowly rolled it out with the eventual release of the Gen 3 standard kit. Uh, they could do the same thing with this mini router, just allowing you know a few select people to try it out at first and then slowly roll it out to a more public launch. We'll just have to wait and see as more details come out in the next few weeks. Now's a good time to remind you, if you're not already subscribed to the channel here, make sure you go ahead and subscribe and like this video if you enjoy these kind of uh, Starlink development updates. So that's the update on the brand new Starlink router that's coming out soon. It's gonna be a mini router, probably significantly cheaper than the current Gen 3 router. It's going to be designed to pair wired or wireless with basically any Starlink dish, but specifically for the mini with a very small form factor. So let me know what you think in the comments below. What is your ideal price point for something like this? So it is a Wi-Fi 6 router. It, is, it does have pretty good specs. What, is, what are you willing to pay for something like this to add it to your Starlink mini or your Starlink standard system? I'll chat with you in the comments. Really appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video.